For as long as I can remember, I have been a huge fan of t-shirts. I mean, look at this. I've got two whole drawers full of them. But when I was younger, I obviously didn't have a whole lot of money to always be buying new shirts. So I had to get creative in order to allow my style to stand out. So in all of my trial and error over the years, that's how I learned the four things that I'm gonna teach you today to make any t-shirt look better. Up first, we're gonna be talking about sleeves. Cuffing your t-shirt sleeves is a dope style move. I really love it. It's kind of a throwback to like a 1950 style and I think it also kind of makes your shirt look a little bit more dressy. However, if you wanna go even a step further with your customization, you can cut the cuff right off. Roll your sleeve to the length that feels comfortable for you where you think it looks best, and then you're gonna take it off and you're gonna cut at the bottom of the cuff. You're gonna cut that extra part of the sleeve right off. I'm a huge fan of this because it kind of gives it like an old Marlon Brando on the waterfront, super old school vibe, and it doesn't have the chunky shirt cuff if that's not your style. The next way you can make any t-shirt look better is by adjusting the collar. The easiest way for me to get away with wearing a t-shirt when I'm dressing up, like with a suit, is with a scoop neck style. So you're gonna be showing a little bit more of your neck, maybe the tips of your collarbones. And if you don't already have a shirt like that and you don't wanna go buy one, you can easily cut the collar in order to make a shirt like that. So flip your shirt inside out, lay it flat, and you see on the collar where the stitching of the shirt meets the actual collar itself. We're gonna cut on the collar side all the way around, but you do not wanna cut the stitching. The reason we're not cutting through the stitching is because it's gonna keep the whole neckline intact. If you cut through it, there's a much higher likelihood that the shirt is just gonna fall apart. <coughs> Remember, this is permanent. Do not start on your favorite t-shirt. If you're not that familiar with wearing a scoop neck style of shirt, then try it out on a shirt that you maybe don't love quite as much. That way you can kind of get a feel for it. You can practice a couple times and figure out the right way to do it for you if you even want to do this at all. So you see how now that the collar's gone, it just has a little bit more of a dressy vibe. It feels a little bit more of like an elevated shirt something that's a little bit more stylish as opposed to just a super basic t-shirt. The third way you can make any t-shirt look better is tucking. This is a great one for you guys who might be a little bit shorter depending on your height or the style of the shirt. Sometimes it's just a little bit too long. If it's hitting you like in the middle of the thigh or down close to your knee, you don't want that. That's just gonna make you look even smaller. Nope. Aside from that, tucking in your shirt is an easy way to dress things up. It's just going to make you look a little bit more put together and by tucking it, you're breaking up your torso and your legs so that it's gonna elongate your whole body. It's gonna make you actually look even a little bit more tall than you actually are. There are all kinds of different ways you can tuck your shirt. I'm actually gonna do an entire video on how to tuck t-shirts in a bunch of different ways, but Three of my favorites, just the full tuck, the loose tuck, and the front tuck. You can't go wrong with any of those. Anytime I'm trying to dress up my look a little bit, especially when I'm wearing a t-shirt and trousers, which is one of my favorite go-to outfits that's always stylish, tucking in your shirt, easy game changer. It's always gonna make your shirt look a lot better. And finally, the fourth way that you can make any t-shirt look better is the hemline or the bottom of your shirt. Maybe you're not into tucking your shirt. You think it looks a little bit too put together or you are wearing a shirt that's way too long and you need to take a little bit off of it and then tuck it in. This is a perfect move to do that. Another great way to have your shirt land right around the top of your pants is to just cut the bottom off. So the way that I like to do this is to put on some jeans or chinos or a pair of pants that I would be wearing out and then you're gonna flip the bottom of your shirt up so that it's right around your belt loop, right around the top of your pants. You don't want to cut it into a crop top, but making it a little bit shorter like that is a really stylish move. Once you have it folded up and you find it, really put a fold into that area and then you're going to take the shirt off and you cut it right along the fold to be sure that it's nice and even all the way around.
This is great because again, it just allows you to further customize your clothes. If you find that you really enjoy a shorter shirt that you don't have to tuck in, but it doesn't lead to there being a bunch of extra fabric around your waist, this is great. You can start to do it to all your shirts or maybe you just do it to the ones that you're trying to really dress up a lot. Like I did it to a black t-shirt that I wear when I go out a lot. It's very, very easy for you to mix and match all of these different things for you to start creating things that are really personal and exactly specified to what you want. And there you go, guys. These moves are gonna work with any shirt. I mean, any size, any style, it doesn't matter. You can do them all or you can pick and choose and figure out which kind of works for you. Be sure that you start slow. Like I said, don't go do this on your favorite shirt right away. I would maybe start with doing your sleeves and then you can move to the waistline. And then once you're comfortable with those two things, maybe try the collar on a different shirt or whatever, but mix and match. You don't have to do every single one to all of your shirts that you're cutting. Personally, I'm a big fan of doing this especially to my basic t-shirts so that it gives me a wide range of variety. So I have some shirts that are super dressy or some that are like a little bit more vintage inspired. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you end up trying this for yourself, tag me on Instagram, follow me there for tons of other style advice. Send it to me in a DM because I would love to share it on my story. Really appreciate when you guys take my advice and you put it into practice. That's the best. I appreciate you guys as always. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up, turn on notifications so you don't ever miss a video. Subscribe if you're not already, tell a friend about the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.